How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV and today I'm going to be showing you six different settings that you should take a look at in developer options. Now these settings are really really cool. Uh, some of them are simple, some of them uh, change the theming of your device and how it functions and everything like that. So we're going to take a look on how to enable developer options and then go through the settings and show you which ones I think are really cool. But before we do, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon down where you get notified on my future videos. I really, really appreciate it. So let's jump down into it. So developer options is sort of a hidden setting that you have on most Android smartphones. You're going to want to go into settings and then you're going to go down to about phone and then you're going to find where it says the build number and you're going to want to tap on this seven times, I believe, and then it'll show developer. You'll be asked to enter in your pin. And then once you're done with that, you go into your system settings, which is pretty much almost the same and every other device. So here, Samsung, I got so many phones and you go into developer options, which is all the way here at the bottom and it'll show it right there. This is a Motorola and uh, developer options are going to be in advance and then developer options right above system settings. So you get a lot of different options that you could tweak on here and we're going to go over six of them. So let's jump down into it. So the first one is going to be quick tile settings, which is developers. And it's going to be the quick settings developer tiles, which is up towards the top. You're going to click on that. And this pretty much enables different quick tiles for you. And you could choose from a whole bunch of them. But the one we're going to be taking a look at is called sensors off. As you can see, I've enabled it right here. So when you go into your quick tiles, it is not up there. But when you enable this, then when you go up here, now you do have the sensors off tile. And essentially what this does is this gives you a little bit more privacy. And this will pretty much turn off your camera and your microphone from turning on. Say if you're in a Facebook app or you're doing some of those naughty apps that you should not be doing. And you're afraid that your camera is going to turn on or your microphone is going to turn on. You could enable this and when you turn this on, this pretty much disables everything. I think it does your auto rotate as well. So if I were to try to open up the camera, it says camera is busy and you click on got it. So your microphone won't work as well. And once you're done doing whatever naughty stuff you're doing, just go ahead and click it back off and everything will work just fine like so. As you can see, the camera is now back on. So it's really, really nice. Gives you a little bit more privacy protection on your device if you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. On the list is going to be a little one that I used to do a lot back in the day and I still do sometimes. And when you scroll down a little bit on developer options, you're going to see the option where it says show taps. And when you click on this, this pretty much shows a little dot, sort of like a little mouse on your display as you can see right there. Really, really cool. I used to like doing this back in the day. I click that and it has the show taps on there. And this is really nice. It gives you a little dot, just a little bit of extra flair on there. Uh, some people may not like it, but it sort of reminds me of like having a little mouse on your screen. And that shows the taps on there as well. I believe if you're doing a screenshot of your device as well, and you want to show where you're tapping at, that will show up as well on your little your screen recording app if you want to do that. Options. So the next one is going to be under the drawing section. And when you scroll down a little bit, you keep on going and you'll find a section here called drawing. And this one is pretty much a classic for anybody who's been on Android for a while. And that is changing the animations of your windows transition and animator duration scale. So this is really cool. If you want things to be a little bit more snappy when you get your device, it's going to be on one. And uh, if you want to snap it up a little bit, you could change it to 0.5 or you could even turn it off. But I wouldn't suggest doing that just because it does make some animations look a little weird and funky. And uh, it's still having that 0.5 on there still gives you that animation that you like, but it'll speed it up a little bit and make things seem a little bit more quicker when you're flicking through your your menus and your settings and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Done this for I don't know how many years and it's a really really cool setting change your dpi which is your uh pixel density on your screen so when you scroll down just a little bit under the the uh, animation section you're going to see smallest width down here and you could change this pretty much the lower the number you go 
the bigger your display will get like your text and everything will just be big the higher you go uh, it'll make everything a bit smaller so right now on the Motorola we are set at like 432 so if I were to go back and set this at 400 this pretty much changes your pixel density on your device so as you can see everything just sort of looks a little bit bigger and if you go any higher than that so say if I want to go 450 and then click on it as you can see everything has shrunk down a little bit and you do have settings like this on most devices in your display settings but if you want to take it further and tweak it a little bit more you could select this right here and uh, make it a little bit more better of course some phones won't allow you to go a certain height like this one is stopping at 449 just because of the pixels per inch on this certain device so keep that in mind try not to do uh, too much extremes go you know like a little bit in and a little bit over what your default setting is that way you don't mess anything up this one was at what 432 we'll go ahead and change that back to 432 and then keep it like that that way you don't mess anything up if you go too low or too high so the next one is going to be forced dark mode so if you keep on scrolling down a little bit more you'll see an option under hardware accelerated rendering and keep in mind this is pretty much the same on some devices um, on most devices it changes up a little bit between oneplus lg and samsung but they're all pretty much here and they all work except for another one that we're going to go over in a little bit so override force dark mode when you click this pretty much overrides any app that you got does that does not support dark mode this will change that on there so if you go to facebook as you can see a little bit it does support dark mode but if you go into another app that does not support dark mode you could activate this and boom you'll have dark mode on there I'm trying to find a uh, app that does not support dark mode and here we go thumbnail maker does not have a dark mode on there it's very bright and now you can see right here that now it does have a dark mode so that's really really cool but if you don't have an app that supports dark mode you can go in there and you could override it and for the most part it does work some apps may look a little wonky but uh, for the most part everything does work on that so we're going to go into back to developer options and the last one on the list is going to be theming so most phones like stock android motorola pixel devices have a theming section on here and this gives you a little bit more options for theming your device you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom and for the Motorola, I, I'm assuming this is going to be the same thing on a Pixel device. But Samsung and LG don't have this setting. And also OnePlus does not have this setting on there. So keep that in mind. But for Motorola and Pixel devices, you'll have a section over here called theming. And you could change your accent color of your system and your icons. Which you do have settings for this. But you're only limited to a certain amount of colors that you could choose. If you go into this setting... You got all of these different colors that you could choose from to change on your device. So if I want to change it to cherry, boom, it changes everything to a red color. If I want to change it to purple, it'll change everything to purple. And you could change other colors as well. So if I want to go into cinnamon, I could change that. And then you could also do like a black, which will make everything black and white on your uh, accent color. So that's really nice if you want a little bit more colors to choose from you could do that in this setting and one on the uh the another option that you could do on here is uh, icon shape but most devices like uh, oneplus uh, motorola and lg you could change your icons on there so you could choose from square teardrop swirkle or rounded rectangle as well so that's pretty cool you could do things like that in developer options so really really nice six cool settings to check out in developer options if you don't know about them, awesome. If you do know about them, give me a thumbs up. But so far, these are really, really nice settings that you could change on your Android devices. Like I said, some of these may work on certain phones, but some of them may not work on phones like Samsung, LG, or OnePlus. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. That is quite all right. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys stay safe. Peace.